Hi, this is Joe Wise, founder of Joe Wise Leadership and one of Australia's leading coaches for professional women leaders. I want to share a deeply personal video this week and I know it's going to resonate with a lot of you, so add your comments below about what you personally take from it and as always, share with what works with you, with your colleagues and your friends. My family have had a confusing week of heartbreak and sadness, numbness and even sometimes not even understanding what in the hell's going on. My boyfriend Cam's mother died and yet in the middle of these, this really tragic time, I, I was able to realise things and even feel gratitude for certain signposts of my growth and it really demonstrated to me how I've learnt to let go of trying to manage other people's emotions. You see, when I was growing up, I took on the responsibility of managing others' emotions. You know, it all started early with me protecting my parents from feeling what I thought at the time were negative emotions. And I did this by shifting my own emotions and behavior consistently to avoid them from feeling things like sadness or disappointment or anger. Sound familiar? I mean, hands up if you're somebody like many of my clients who, and even myself, who tries to help or manage or control other people's emotions, maybe at home, maybe at work. You might be doing this by not speaking up because you fear how they might feel or maybe you see someone upset and try to fix it or you even don't even share something in case it upsets them. For me, it took a while to identify, but reading the works of Brene Brown years ago, I started to see how exhausting it was for me and for them and how dishonest and even untruthful I was being. Now, what I'm not talking about here is being sensitive and having awareness of how others feel when we deliver some, some tough messages or hard news or we need to be really straight with somebody because they need to hear something. That's more about empathy than what I'm talking about here. When we manage other people's emotions, it's kind of like behind the scenes unconsciously. We're saying, you know, I can't deal with the discomfort of seeing you uncomfortable with what I'm about to say, so I'm not going to say it and it'll remain unsaid and we'll probably just act all weird or passive aggressive about it. Or maybe it's, I don't trust that you have what it takes to deal with the real me and how I feel right now. So I'm gonna hide parts of me or hold in my emotions and ignore what's happening at all. And it'll probably come out later on in a disproportional way or an inappropriate time. Or maybe I'm not even gonna give you the chance to be responsible for your own emotions. I'm going to do that for you by hiding something that would actually benefit you if you knew. This managing other people's emotions generally starts with a positive intention, protecting someone, maybe not wanting to ruffle someone's feathers or upset them. And whilst we often learn to do this in families and our deeper relationships, the workplace is absolutely not immune to this. I mean, why do you think there's so many dysfunctional behaviours that go unchecked for years in businesses? Or why people get away with bullying behaviour and why so much remains unsaid in the workplaces. You hearing me? So here I am in the middle of this really tough time and although I'm really sad, I also feel proud that as a family we're trusting that we are each responsible for our emotions and how we sit and talk about our raw and real emotions and also the way we all individually are choosing to respond to each new part as it comes up. Yes, of course, there's lots of tears and that's okay because for me, it's like at the moment, I've given myself permission to sit here and cry in front of people and I can be okay with that. Or I'm going to say this thing and I know you're probably going to get really sad or uncomfortable, but I can be okay with that too. And you know what? Relationships feel so much healthier and honest and real when you learn to let go of controlling appearances or somebody else's experience. And trust me, it saves you so much energy. It does take practice, however. So if you need a hand with drawing out some boundaries for yourself or speaking your truth, especially at work, I'm currently offering a free 45 minute Rise and Thrive strategy session, which can help you learn new, healthier ways of responding. The link's in the comments below. See you soon.